Hi, this is Chris, and welcome to Coding in Public. Today, I'm going to show you how to copy things from your web page to a user's clipboard. And we've got two things kind of set up here. One is an input field, where if you click this, it will copy it to your clipboard. And another one is a paragraph tag, where if you click here, it'll copy it to your clipboard. I'm going to show you two different ways to do this, kind of the older depreciated way that has better support, and the newer API that doesn't have as good of support, but is way easier to use, and uh, obviously is the way to use going forward. All right, let's go ahead and jump right in. As usual, I've got most of the HTML and CSS already done here. Uh, we've just got two different cards here. One of these is a form, and the form itself has an input field with a read-only attribute on the input. That way you can't change this text, um, and it has a value of copy this text. Uh, the other one here is a paragraph you might see right here, and it just says copy me, I dare you, with a button next to it. Um, and again, uh, these things are going to be, we're going to treat these just a little bit differently, and I'll show you why in a moment. Okay, let's go ahead and jump right in. And the first thing we need to do is actually event, do an event listener on the form itself. So we'll just say const form is equal to uh, document.query selector. And we're going to look for the form tag. We're just going to add an event listener on that. The event we're listening for is the submit event. So that would mean anytime we either click this button or we hit enter um, on when the input is selected, it will submit the form. Now, normally, if we do that, let's grab the event from that. If we do that, it'll actually just go ahead immediately and refresh the page. So if we come in here and like console log, um, hello, and pull up our console here, and we click this, it might show up briefly, but you see then it just wipes it away. So the first thing we need to do is come in here and say E, that's the event, the submit event, prevent default. All right, what this will mean is this method doesn't allow the form to do the normal thing. So it won't refresh the page. And now when we click here, it'll just say hello, which is what we've console logged. Okay, so we've prevented the form from submitting. Instead, what we want to do is we want to copy the text that's in this input field. We're just going to work on this input field first, then we'll come down here and work on the paragraph. And I'll show you why we're doing that in just a moment. Now, what is it that we want to grab from the actual submitting of that form. Well, let's go ahead and first say that e.target and figure out what it is that we're getting when we submit the form. So if I click this button, we're actually getting the entire form tag. Now what we want to actually pass is the input field, not the, the form. So we'll come in here and say query selector, and we're going to select the input field inside of that form. And now when we click here, it gives us the input. That's what we're going to pass in to a function we're going to write that we'll call copy input field. So let's come down here and write that function. So we'll say const uh, copy input field. And let's pass in, uh, we're going to pass this into it. So let's call this something, this parameter, something like field to be copied. All right, and the field to be copied, here's what we want to do with it. First thing we want to do is select everything that's in the input field. The easiest way to do that is to say the field uh, to be copied dot set selection range, because we want to make sure we grab every single thing that's in that input field. And we can set a range of zero, which is you know no elements, all the way up to whatever the length is of the value of the input field. All right, let me show you how that works. So we'll say uh, field to be copied dot value dot length. This is going to give us the length of whatever text is in here. And so now, uh, whenever we pass this, it should select everything there from zero all the way to the length of the value um, of that input field. All right, the next thing we can do is then we can say document dot with that all selected document dot exec command. And you'll notice this has a strike through. This tells me it's depreciated. And I'll show you uh, that here in a moment. And then we'll just pass in that command of copy. Now, I've got the docs pulled up over this way, and like I mentioned, this is depreciated. It's no longer recommended. At some point, it might fade away. So typically, you probably don't want to use this, but the thing is, it's got really, really good support for uh, across every single browser. So some browsers actually won't use the newer clipboard API, which I'll show you here in a moment. You can see here, to write to the clipboard, Firefox has it kind of hidden behind a flag here. Uh, they have to explicitly 
enable it. Internet Explorer doesn't, it doesn't work for that. Firefox for Android, it doesn't work for that. And then uh, there's some other implementation notes you have to pay attention to for this newer clipboard API. So you might want to have both here as kind of a fallback, but what we'll do is just set it like this. And now when we clip here, click here, it'll select that and copy it. And if I come down here and paste, I've copied that text. Now, as I mentioned, the document.exec command is actually depreciated. So you probably don't want to use this in production unless you really need support for IE and Firefox. And even then you want to pro probably provide that newer API as well to make sure that things don't break for newer browsers as eventually that exec command might get dropped. Now we've got both the input field and we've got this paragraph text. And you can't actually use it the same way. This document.exec command only works when you select an input field, not when you select text on the page. That's kind of a security feature of that exec command. Now the trouble is when you've got this paragraph here and you want to copy it, you've got to actually create a, an input field, put it on the DOM briefly, copy out of it, and then remove it. All right, so it's a lot more complicated than it otherwise probably should be. So let's come over here and let's grab this um, button. We've got this idea paragraph one on it. So we'll come in here and we'll just say, uh, let's add another event listener. We'll say const uh, button is equal to uh, document at query selector, and we're going to select paragraph one. So we're going to say we want to add an event listener, and we're listening for a click on that button. And for right now, let's just pass in the event and uh, console log the e.target. So we come in here and we click on this button. You'll see we get the button itself. Now what we want to do is we want to grab the paragraph and we could do this by saying like get the previous element sibling in the DOM but just in case we switch stuff up you may have noticed that I have a custom data attribute on here called data-copy and it, the value here paragraph on corresponds to the button. So we can use that to say hey whenever we click on a button grab whatever element in the DOM shares the data-copy. So once again let's say something like const uh, let's see, text to copy is equal to document dot query selector. And what we want to select this time is, let's go ahead and add backticks here. Um, and what that allows us to do is actually add in our variable that we're grabbing from up here. So what we can do is we can say um, data dash copy is equal to, and then we'll add this template string here, and it's equal to the e.target, that's the button we clicked on, dot id. And then let's go ahead just to make sure that we got this working and we'll say, uh, let's console log that text to be copied. So come in here and click this and you'll see that's what it did. It searched for anything. This button we clicked on has an id. So anything that has the data-copy attribute that corresponds to our id. And now just to keep the two separate, what we're going to do is create a new function. We'll say copy uh, paragraph text, and we're going to pass in that text to copy. Now let's go ahead and write this function down below. And again, this is just to kind of keep them separate so we can I can kind of show you the difference between them. We'll come in here and say text to be copied is what we're going to pass in. And we'll write this again as an error function. We'll just console log right now the text to be copied, which is this parameter here, whatever it is that we pass in. As you can see, it's this. All right, so clear as mud. We'll come in here and click on this, and it passes in this and then console logs it down here. Now, I mentioned with the exec command, you've got to actually create an input field and place it in the DOM first. So what we need to do is come in here and we need to say const um, temp input. All right, in other words, we're going to create a temporary input field. And we'll say document.create element. And let's just uh, add a text area. So we've got as much text as we need here. And then we'll say temp input.value is equal to that text to be copied that we pass it. Now, it's not equal to the paragraph tag, it's actually equal to the inner text. So I guess what we could do is come up here and we could say dot inner text. That's the paragraph text itself, and then that's what we'll pass in down this way so that the text to be copied is what that input, temporary input 
value will be set to. We're going to come in here and say set attribute read only. This is the attribute that we actually have on this input field up this way. And we want to set it to read only. Next, we want to say temp.style.position is equal to absolute. So we're going to pull it out of kind of the structure of the web page. Then we're going to say document.body.appendChild temp input. So what we've done now is when we click this button, we've now created a temporary input, set the value to the paragraph. We've now set an attribute, set the title to or the position to absolute, and now we've appended it to the DOM itself. Now, once it's on the DOM, now we need to select the input field like we did for our input field above. So we'll do the same thing we did above. We'll say temp input dot set selection range, and we're going to select zero all the way to temp input dot value dot length, and then we're going to say document dot exec command. And we are going to copy once again. And then finally, we want to remove that temporary input from the page itself. As soon as we've copied it, we want to get it off the, the DOM. So we can just say temp input dot remove. This is just a method that lives on that input field. So now when we come in here and we click, it should actually copy. And now I can paste it in here. All right, now this is a lot of work <laughs> to create an element add something to it, add all these attributes to it, get it off the page very quickly so that it pulls in and off um, and you can copy something. So copying from a paragraph text is just way more difficult with the document.exec command. Now I mentioned there's another way to do this as well and that would be to use this clipboard API. Now this clipboard API um, is newer and um, depending on what you do, you might need permissions set for it. What we're going to be doing is writing to the clipboard and automatically you get permission granted to you when your tab is the active tab, which that means that we can use this without asking the user to confirm or something like that because it requires user action in some way. Now, if you already have your text in an input field like this, it's not really terribly too different than using this document.exec command. But when it comes to the paragraph text here below, it's significantly easier. So let me show you first of all how to do this. All we're going to do is replace all this with a simple command called navigator.clipboard.writeText. And then we just want to pass in whatever the text is that we're wanting to copy to it. So here, what we're going to do is we want the value of the input field. We're going back to this top one here. So let's just grab this field to be copied and pull it in here. Let's remove all of this. And what we want is not just the input, but we actually want the input dot value. So rather than having to select the value from you know zero all the way to the length of the value, we can just add this simple command here. And now when we clip here, click here, we should be able to just copy this text. All right, so it's a little bit easier. What's significantly easier is grabbing the paragraph text here. So what we can do is essentially remove all of this and replace it with navigator.clipboard.writeText, and we'll just say text to be copied. Now what we've done is we click on this button, it's going to pass in the inner text of this paragraph that corresponds to it, that has the same data dash copy. Now when we click here, we can come over here and it should paste in exactly as we've clipped it. So you can see how much easier this newer clipboard is, this newer clipboard API is, but like I mentioned, there's not as great support for it. There's some other cool stuff you can do with the Clipboard API. I'm just kind of showing the bare bones right now as well. There's an, a library called uh, Clipboard JS, I think it is. And there's some other cool stuff you can do with this. And uh, it's got it's a really small uh, library, so that is also worth checking out. I just wanted to show you kind of the uh, JavaScript ways that I know to copy text from your web page. So like I mentioned, there's two different ways you can do that. You can do it either with an input field and using the document.exec command, and that will work on all browsers, but it is appreciated and will eventually be pulled from the language. So you wanna make sure that if you really have to have support for older browsers, that uh, you have that as a fallback, but you definitely want the newer API in there as well, this navigator.clipboard.writeText. 
You can learn more about that on in the docs, and I'll try to remember to put both docs in the description of this video so you can comb through them yourself and kind of see how they work. But those are two different ways to copy text from your web page onto a, a user's clipboard. All right, thanks so much for watching, and I will catch you in the next one. Happy coding.